Welcome fellow miners. This video will introduce you to ProHashing, the most trusted, safe, and secure mining pool throughout the internet. This guide will assist you in configuring your workers if you're mining with the GPU, and then show you how to get paid in any coin you would like and get started within just a few minutes. If you're looking for instructions on how to connect other mining hardware to ProHashing, keep an eye out for our other video walkthroughs. All links used in this video will be available in the video details down below. Let's begin with showing you how to register for an account at the ProHashing website. To visit the website, you'll go to ProHashing.com, and once there, you simply click Register at the top right. I'm going to enter a username, password, and an email address. While it's not required to enter an email address, it is highly recommended because if you ever lose or forget your password for your account, we cannot help you recover your account if you don't have an email address associated with it. Entering an email address also allows you to be notified of important information. For example, if somebody were to gain access to your account and try to change your payout address, you would receive an email notifying you of that before any payouts could happen. Here, you can tell us how you heard about ProHashing, and if you heard from a friend or a family member, you can either get to the ProHashing website by clicking on their referral link, or you can enter the referral code here. I'm going to click that I have read and agree to the ProHashing documentation terms of service and privacy policy because I've read all of those things. But I highly suggest you do also before agreeing. And I'm going to leave notify me of new features and updates clicked because I would like to stay up to date on the latest ProHashing news. Click register to register and now you'll see the getting started page. Here, the first step is, of course, to sign up, which we've already done. The second step is to add new payout options, so let's do that. You can click on the payout setting button here, or you can click on the hamburger menu and go to payouts at any time. Payouts at ProHashing are issued on a proportional basis when mining in FPPS mode. Many pools pay out only one coin or the exact same coin you've been mining. But at ProHashing, you can specify percentages of coins that can be paid out however you like, if in FPPS mode. The default coin is Litecoin, as you can see in this account's payout proportions. But let's say that we want to change it so that we can earn Bitcoins. To do that, I will click on the Add New Payout Option button, and then I'll click on Bitcoin to add Bitcoin. Then I'll need to enter a Bitcoin address. Addresses are mandatory for all ProHashing customers. The reason for that is because we wanna make sure that we're not holding too much money. And by paying out customers, that's really the best security feature we can have because hackers can't steal what we're not holding on to. I'm going to paste a random Bitcoin address And then we'll talk about payout thresholds in the advanced videos. So I'll just click Save. And after saving the data, you'll see that the payout options have been successfully saved. Now we still have 100% of our payout proportions devoted to Litecoin. The reason for that is because the default coin is Litecoins. Litecoins have a very low transaction fee and can be paid out every day for free to most customers. If you add Bitcoin like we did, you'll have to change your target proportions. Let's say you want 50% Bitcoin and 50% Litecoin. I'll change it here to 50 and 50. And then I'm going to click Save Proportions. You'll see that the proportions have been saved. And all the mining on this account from this point forward will be credited in 50% Bitcoins and 50% Litecoins, regardless of what coins are mined or what algorithm your ASICs, GPUs, CPUs, or HDDs are mining. 
but I'll need to make sure I add a Litecoin address so that I can get paid out my Litecoins when my Litecoin earnings become eligible for payouts. Now that we've got that set up, let's take a look at how to actually start your miners. For this example, we'll be setting up to mine Kaupau. To do that, you can follow along here in this video or check out the GPU Quick Start Guide. If you prefer following along with print directions, with screenshots, or would like to mine one of the other GPU algorithms, the link to the guide is available in the video details down below, and you can also access any of our guides by clicking on Help, and then Guides. Also, there will be other videos available to walk you through tasks like mining with a CPU. The link to download GMiner is available in the online guide and in the video details down below. I've already completed the download, but if you want to download GMiner, you'll use the GMiner link to take you to the GMiner releases page that you can see here. You can click on the GMiner Windows 64.zip link to extract GMiner for Windows. If you're using Linux, then you can click on that package to extract that one, but that operating system is outside the scope of this video. I've extracted the Windows 64 zip file to this folder here. If you download any folders with mining files like this, when you look inside the folder, if you're missing any files like the .bat files here, you may need to go into your Windows Defender or whatever antivirus you're using because it may have incorrectly identified it as a virus and quarantined the file. You would then need to add the folder you're saving into the exemptions list in your antivirus and try that download again. Step two is to modify the start script. In this case, we're going to test call pow mining with the GPU. You can edit the configuration using whatever text editor you're most comfortable with, but I'm going to demonstrate using Notepad because it comes free with Windows. I'm going to edit the mineravencoin.bat file. And this is the default value that's needed for mining Kaupau if you wanted to mine at the pool that Gminer defaults to. Since we're looking to mine with ProHashing, we need to configure our workers to point to the ProHashing pool. Let's go back to the ProHashing website and take a look at the worker configurator. We can get there to the worker configurator by clicking on Tools and then Worker Configurator. We're going to leave the manufacturer set to the default because we're mining with the GPU, but we're going to change the algorithm to Kaupau here. The hash rate for my RTX 3070 mining Kaupau is about 35 mega hash per second, so I'm going to enter that here in hash rate. Yours might be different depending on your rig. I'm going to leave the mining server region set at the default also because I'm mining from the US, but you'll have the option to select any of the regional servers available at the time you're watching this video. Currently it's the US and EU, but the plan is to add a Singapore server and then go from there. I'm going to click on the plus sign to open up the advanced options because I want to put a worker name in here. If you do not add a worker name, it will display in ProHashing's dashboard as a random string of numbers and statistics won't be tracked. So it's important to name your worker if you want to be able to follow the information we're able to provide on the ProHashing website. I'm going to put it as test worker here. I'm going to leave the group name open, but if you'd like to group your workers in the statistics that are available in the charts and the data on the ProHashing site, you can do so here. I'm going to click on track electricity, and the wattage for me to use Kaupau is about 243 watts. And I'm going to put in a cost of four cents per kilowatt hour, which up here you can see estimates about a six cent profit per day. 
the important part is that we are able to find our mining URL and our port here, and then we can get our password arguments here. Now we're going to take the configuration information that we have in our Copout Worker configuration. We're going to move it over into our notepad document. We've got a connection URL, a username, and password arguments. I'm going to first copy the connection URL, and I'm going to bring up the notepad document and put it under server, replacing the server URL that's already in there. And the user that is in there by default is going to get replaced by our ProHashing user 328 that I set up. In your case, it would be whatever your ProHashing username is. And I'm going to come back over here and copy my password arguments, which are going to go in here as dash dash pass. And as you can see, we've got our wattage, our electricity price, and our worker name. We're then going to save this file, and we're ready to start mining. Now that this has been saved, we can start mining simply by double-clicking the file. However, I'm going to run as administrator because in some, some circumstances, we can get a better hash rate by doing so. It will start mining to ProHashing, and you should see something that looks similar to this once mining has started. Once the DAG has been created, we can go to the ProHashing website and take a look at the dashboard, and we should see that an individual worker has been added. Because we named it test worker in the worker configurator and entered it as our n equals argument in the bat file, this worker's name is displayed here as test worker. Right now it's got zero shares submitted and it's still waiting for shares to be submitted before its hash rate can be calculated. But we're well on our way to mining. Within about five minutes you should see an initial estimated hash rate here. And the longer you mine, the more accurate the hash rate displayed on your dashboard will be as the hash rate is measured as the average over the past two hours. Thank you for viewing our introductory video on how to mine with ProHashing. In our next advanced video, we'll describe some of the advanced features the pool has, such as portfolio targeting, mining for charities, and configuring charts, graphs, and even worker group statistics. I hope to see you there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day and happy mining.